Justin here, and I'm going to show you a brief example of Google Glass controlling a network connected Arduino. So what you see in front of us is my Nexus 4, an Arduino with an Ethernet shield on top, a scattering of wires which connects up a TMP36, some LEDs that show me the state of what the thermostat is doing, and then a stack of four relays which is just using a little Sanewain board uh, for this development purpose. So. I basically built about six months ago a zone-based control system for my house. So this is the basically one of the thermostats uh, for development purposes because my wife doesn't want me to destroy our HVAC system. So uh, let us pretend for a second that I have completely failed and my, my home automation is not automated at all and some alert has occurred and I need to take care of it. Well, we can do that with Google Glass and the Mirror API. So basically what I've done is I've created a little app that only thing it does is uh, authenticate you, get some stats from the thermostat, in this case our development unit. It sends a ping in case something occurs, at which point we have a subscription that uses the callback URL and that triggers out some event based on the payload that is sent from our action on glass. So let's fire up glass. And you'll see that I have nothing hanging out in the timeline except pictures of my kids today. Woohoo! All right, so let us create an event. And we're going to come over here and we're going to hit the little magical button. And you probably can't hear it on the video, but it dinged. So let's look. Oh, holy Toledo. Floor 2 is reporting a heat alert. We must take action. So the 82.3 degrees comes from our little TMP36 sensor right here. So you my little finger right there. Um, it's not part of my production thermostats because I have zone moderating the rooms. But for this case, it's nice and easy to use. So we've got this a condition. Well, we've already hit set up a subscription from our little app. Um, so now we can listen to the callback action from this timeline card. So we tap it, and it gives us an option, AC to 78. Or we could go over here and say, oh, no, you know what? Ignore. Just delete that thing. Let the house melt. Um, okay, so let us hit AC to 78, and let's see what the Arduino does based on that reaction. So it's refreshing, and then at about five seconds or so, it's gonna trigger. Ta-da! Magic! Not really. Uh, so it's pretty basic, and I just turned the LED off with the little command console. Pretty basic. You have a subscription that listens for that update, because we've asked it for it to do so, and the timeline event that we triggered sends out the little message to our callback URL, which in this case is proxied out because I didn't want to set up an SSL server. And then it pings our Arduino, which is listening for an MQTT broadcast against the broker. So this triggers the Arduino, turns on the LED, and then turns on uh, turns on the relay associated with the HVAC unit. So this has been a little example of Google Glass controlling a network connector Arduino using the Mirror API and uh, a little callback and MQTT. Thanks a lot.